Hi, time for Rich's Quickie Sundance Edition. Miles ahead. I'm a musician, so I was thrilled to see that. Well, I'm a drummer. Anyway, I was interested in seeing this, and uh, I wish I was as blown as away as I was hoping I was going to be. Don Cheadle, it is his directorial debut. He does a great job. He's also producer, writer, and obviously stars in it as Miles Davis, and he's really good. Although, frankly, I don't know how Miles Davis really acted. So. But anyway, he is really good, riveting to watch. Ewan McGregor as Dave Brill, a duplicitous Rolling Stone reporter, is also good. He walks that line between being likable, you're rooting for him, but at the same time, you don't trust him. Uh, this story goes back and forth in time between a period of Miles Davis's life that I find the least interesting when he basically took five years off to sit around and get high. And it flashes back to the point in time where he was uh, wooing, winning, and losing, <laughs> basically chasing off his muse, Francis Taylor. I thought that beeline story about how he came to be and meeting her and everything was much more interesting than the heist film part, which was the A-line story. He and Neil McGregor trying to steal back some tapes of music that were stolen from him by these nasty record executives. Uh, I, I really didn't care so much about that part. I wanted to see more about Miles Davis the man, his music, his legacy. By the time it ended with this sort of uh, fantasy concert that never happened, and they brought in this other guy, Keith Stanfield, to be junior, sort of an avatar of Miles Davis as a kid, I was pretty much done with all of the creative license they were taking. I just wanted his story and not their version of a story that may or may not have even happened. For me, it was a C-plus movie, although Don Cheadle, again, did a great job directing as well as acting. I just wish they'd focus on a different part of Miles Davis' life. You can get the full review at Salt Lake Magazine and check me out on Fox 13 as well as Standard Examiner and Critical Mass and Talk 365 and right here with Rich's Quickies.